Welcome back, my friends. Earlier, Sharon revealed her gorgeous kitchen renovation to us. She is back now with more to reveal. That's because the kitchen reno pretty much led to renovating the whole main floor because it's all open concept, which is something, you know, a lot of us are living in. So, Sharon, let's start with the flooring. All right, Trace. Well, you know what? It's just as much work to sand and, um, and, and restain because you still have to take everything out from your, from your floor while you're doing it as, you know, if you're replacing the floors, it's the same thing. But the nice thing is the, I love the maple. It had just yellowed because of the oil varnish 20 years ago. So I was able to custom tint something with a little bit of gray so that hopefully it won't yellow as much and we use water-based products. So that was really what, what needed to happen and allowed everything else to kind of flow from that. Now, I know a lot of people ask you where you get your color inspiration from. So let's talk about where your inspiration came from for this project. I always tell people textiles and it is true. That's what I did myself. I really loved my Second Life rug in my living room. It wasn't new. I've had it for quite a while, but I really pulled the beautiful greens that I ended up using that Ashwood moss on the cabinets in the living room and the kitchen. I pulled the warm, there's like some brown tones in there. I pulled that out and actually did my dining room ceiling with Morel. And then for the neutral color, because I really wanted to lighten things up for a change, um, I went from, I was inspired by the color of my sectional. So I use natural cream on the walls and everything kind of blends and it feels a lot more calming in here. Beautiful. Now, did you get to paint anything yourself, Sharon? Because I know you like that. I absolutely did, Tracy. I was inspired by my own City Line show a few weeks ago <laughs> where I did a textured wall. I watch. Um, so I made this wall look like concrete finish. So I use Kendall charcoal and Rockport gray. And this is kind of the center of the main floor. So it's a really good opportunity for an accent wall. And I really love the texture. Great. Textured look. No, it looks amazing. Let's talk storage. That's always huge. Did you add any new storage? I replaced because I had an upper cabinet here that matched my old Ikea kitchen well, the same color. I wanted it to be more open here. So I did get rid of that. I put in lower. These are actually originally like wall cabinets, but they're nice and narrow. So I used them for a base, put a matching countertop from the other side of the kitchen on here. So I got a surface and I got actually more storage, but it looks like less, which is awesome. <laughs> That was a very smart move. And apparently your final note, uh, Sharon, you say shop your house. You can save money and give it a whole new look. Absolutely, Tracy. I really took a good look at every piece of furniture that I had since I had to move it um, into storage for a little while for the floors. So it gave me the chance to go, let me move this down to the basement. Let me move this to another bedroom. And I actually shopped my in-laws house. You might remember this, Tracy. Earlier in the year, I showed this cabinet in mm -hmm. progress. It was quite a sight before I finally finished it, stained it, painted it, um, clear coated it. It's got a lot of storage. It fits in so nicely in this space. I absolutely love it. But the dining room credenza that was here, I used that in my office. So I updated it a little bit, added a new counter, and now I have perfect amount of storage in my office and I'm happy with the whole main floor. And now I got to work upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's never done. Huh? It looks beautiful. And that piece behind you is gorgeous. Sharon, thank you.